All right, so today's gonna be a longer video. This one is probably gonna get me some negative comments and maybe a bunch of dislikes, but I'm not here to do this for likes, views, or anything else. I'm here to do this because I enjoy history. This right here is the first of the Olympic cigarette books from Germany. This is actually supposed to be deeper red, so I turn it to the other side. Uh, you can actually see it's supposed to be this nice red. This one has been sun bleached. So there are three major cigarette books uh, for the 1936 Olympics. And I'll do the other two when I get back home to the United States. Uh, I'm getting ready to move. So probably about six to eight months. But I digress. Starting at this. This is the company that produced these books. The red books, as I like to call them, I uh, can't find an actual technical term for them, but these books complete go for between, if they're in mint condition, about $400 to about $150. The blue books are a bit less valuable. They're a lot more produced. The blue books you can get for between $30 to $50 for a complete set. This is a complete one for the 1936 Berlin Olympics. So these were the propaganda books of the Third Reich. Hitler, as you've probably watched multiple videos, made this event about the superiority of the Aryan race. So what you do is you go and you buy these books along with the cigarette cards. And the books were actually very detailed, talking about the Olympic Games, what happened. It's interesting, you can see the Olympic flame and then the soldiers underneath with the cannons. It's actually World War I cannons, which weird, but we start off with, in this book, the Winter Olympics. There is a book, the Bund one has, I believe, the Winter Olympics with the blue books. This one is combined in both, so there are less cigarette cards in this book compared to the dual books. Also, you'll have bigger cigarette cards as well in the dual. So, and the Germans did focus a lot on Germans. But as you can see, there's the Norwegians, there's the Swedish, mm -hmm. uh, Finnish right there. And again, not really much to fully say. Also with these books, it's single paged. So single-sided, you'd stick your cigarette cards through the back as you can see them sticking there. And yeah, one page, not two, that you will also see in the blue books. That's another thing. So there's the man himself, and talking all about his propaganda on how he made this Olympics. Very, uh, very pro prolific propaganda that actually started the Nazi propaganda machine. So here we go. Just different individuals. As you can still see the brown shirts before the night of the long knives are still pro, uh, prevalent in here. And then the Olympics in Berlin. Surprisingly has all different flags, but as you can see the prolific ones here is it's the German flag, the fascist Italian, and the Japanese are the top three in this section starting out. Good old foreshadowing. And then the intro, the speeches, the individuals, the lighting of the Olympic torch and going through. It's weird to see stuff like, you know, religious people and Hitler, even though he did have an interesting connection with the church. Now, this is what everybody wants in the Olympic books. Everybody's looking for the Jesse Owens. Now, you got to remember, Jesse Owens was not the only uh, American, black American. Um, some people prefer African American. I, he's American. He's no different than anybody else who's American to me, at least. Uh, talking about him, and then this other card doing about the world record in the 200 meter dash. Then you have Archie Williams, and then Jay Woodruff. You can't. Uh, you can't just talk about Jesse Owens without talking about his compatriots who ran with him, who did all these other events with him. 
Because, yes, he did break a lot of records. And, yes, Hitler did shake his hand, did acknowledge Jesse Owens compared to our president at the time. Um, whether or not that was for propaganda purposes, there's a giant debate on that. But I digress. It goes through all the individuals, the different events. And all these are... Uh, just colored photos that they printed. So just how much work and time it took to make one of these before they were mass printed. Then Force Towns, freaking uh, the German Alfred Dolbert. And this was also the one that uh, there were a lot of other, for like the long jump and Jesse Owens uh, the story about the German who uh, let him... Uh, run it again so there'd be fair uh, fair play on the field because he didn't want to take a win without the person doing his best and there he is in the long jump people remember the run there's also cornelius johnson in the high jump you can't you can't go jesse owens he prolific character but you can't use him without everybody he went with to these olympics to prove that the aryan race was not the superior race and that everybody whether or not they're japanese chinese uh british all have their talents you have the pole vaults the ball throws germany germany kenneth carpenter for the discus the woman's team right here it's interesting to see the women's part of the Olympics as well. You have the fencing competitions. And then more propaganda. Goodness, the propaganda. Even when you'd hope there'd be no propaganda and just showing. the These books were made to focus on the propaganda. Which is a product of its time. And I do have some other cigarette books later that I'll go through and show different, uh, the way the German cigarette books changed. Because these were like your baseball cards of the day. You collect these out of your cigarette packs, your cigarette uh, tins. Um, and you buy the book for very cheap. And you would slowly buy smoking, which Hitler was very opposed to. Um, be able to fill these books up with the pictures that you could find. But as you can see, there's a lot with the German team. The Germans won quite a bit of gold medals in this Olympics. But there were other teams that did stop the Germans from winning as many as Hitler would have liked to win. Again, the women's teams. It's just interesting because these are like photos, but then they were partially drawn and then fully colored. You don't usually see that unless they're very badly colored, usually with older photos. And this book is old. It is not in the perfect condition. But the one thing this book has is every single cigarette card, which is usually hard to find. You're usually missing one or two. Sadly, some of these were glued in. But this one, this almost this whole book has not been glued in at all. And then, yeah, still at the end, like, I believe this is the last page, and you still have the propaganda of the Third Reich. And then to the end, that that's the burgundy color. And you got to think that the original red was very purposeful with these books. Now, when I do the blue books, when I get back, um, we'll talk about the differences between this and the blue ones. I did this video because there aren't really any on the red book. There is one very good video talking about the Bund 2 or the second book of the blue books for the Berlin Olympics. Honestly, I do hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully my rants didn't get too much, and hopefully you come back and tune into other videos of mine. If you have any questions or comments, I wouldn't mind while I do another video to correct anything you guys would like me to correct or add. So please, by all means, let me know. But as always, I hope you have a good morning, afternoon, or evening. And this is Chris, and I am signing off.